Sticky notes provide the ability to add a note to the top of the general information, the triage questions, or the care advice for any protocol. So let's see how that works and how that might be valuable to you and your organization. As a first example, let's start with the animal bite protocol. So I'll click on the animal bite. And I have information about what this protocol is for. If I want to add a sticky note, go to the menu that's under your name in the top right corner and choose Add Sticky Note. So I can type Report All Animal Bites to the County Public Health Commission. And when I press Save, that's added to the top of that screen. So it's not there if I click on a different protocol. If I click on, in this case, the Adult Animal Bite Protocol, it's going to have that information showing for every nurse within my organization that clicks on that protocol. For another example, let's take a look at adding a sticky note to the Questions tab. So I'm going to find the Chicken Pox Diagnosed or Suspected Protocol. And on the Questions page, I can add a sticky note. It says, all children with suspected chickenpox should come in the side door rather than through the main door up front. If I save that, that's now there as a reminder to any nurse that's going through the triage on chickenpox if they do bring them into the office. As a final example in the care advice, so if I have someone calling in with suicide concerns and I've triaged them, on the care advice, I might add a sticky note there that has the local number for our local suicide crisis hotline. Listen, crisis hotline, 303-860-1200. So again, these notes can be added to the care advice, to the questions, or to the general protocol information for any protocol. Let's say that you want to change one of those. So I'll go back to the animal bites, and someone points out that you actually don't have to report rodent or rabbit animal bites. I can come here, and I can edit that sticky note. Except rodent or animal bites to the County Health Commission. And I can save that note, and that note is now there in its revised format. And finally, if I decide that I don't need a note, I choose Edit Sticky Note, I can delete that note, and it will no longer be there. That's how you use sticky notes within Clear Triage. Keep in mind that you don't want to use a sticky note if you're actually going to be changing advice or questions within the protocol. So for instance, let's say that we were looking at the eye with pus or discharge protocol, and there's a question there that talks about what to do if there's pus and you have a standing order for prescription eye drops. Let's say you don't want that question. If you want to hide that question, if you want to modify a question, so you want to modify the number of days, for instance, that fever is present, if you want to make changes within the questions or changes within the care advice, then you're actually customizing the protocol which is a different action and talked about in a different video. That's the difference between sticky notes, general information on top, or customizing the protocol, making changes within the questions or care advice.